good designing, the, we have a... I'm more worried about India right now than, um, than probably even Pakistan, because India is not heading in the right direction. If you see what has happened in India in the last six years, it is frightening for some of us. It's not the India I know of Gandhi and Nehru. It is this ideology that has taken over India of Hindu supremacy. And this, whatever such an ideology takes over, there is always something they blame. The other, the, there is, uh, you have to hate someone to be, you know, supreme and an exclusive Hindu India. The, this is the ideology that assassinated Gandhi. Uh, this is the ideology was banned in India for three times. And now, unfortunately, it, it, it is uh, running India. And I, I fear, because I think you can, you can reason, as long as you can reason with people, uh, the two nuclear-armed countries uh, need not worry about anything. But unfortunately, with this ideology of racial supremacy, I don't think you can reason. And, I, and I'm generally worried. And that's why I'm going to speak. I'm speaking to the heads of state. I've just spoken to. Uh, Prime Minister Boris Johnson, I will speak to Donald Trump, I will speak to other leaders, I will speak in the U.S. I'll try my best that the world must intervene before this goes too far. Mr. Prime Minister, thank you for uh, coming here. Uh, thank you for... Uh... And I'm afraid, um, I worry now where we are, uh, the, where the two countries are. That's why before that I asked uh, President Trump to intervene and, and, and play a role in this. Because it, whenever we ask for other countries, United Nations, to help, India says it's a bilateral issue. When we try to talk to them, they said there's nothing to talk about. So it's very important. It's two nuclear-armed countries facing each other, like this incident happened in February. I, as the prime minister of a country, am saying that anything can happen in such situations. You don't know what, what can happen. We should never be in this situation. Uh, that's why my, I will be uh, speaking in UN. I would want the United Nations to play a role. This is why the United Nations came into being. This, would have, this could have effects way beyond the subcontinent. And China has come to a help when uh, we were right at the rock bottom. I can tell you that all policies of my government have been completely backed by the army. When I spoke to Mr. Uh, President, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, I told him, I said, look, every, my country stands with me because we want peace. We have decided we have a new policy with Afghanistan, with, with India. We want a new beginning. You take one step towards us, we go, come to, towards you. And, and he sort of said, are you sure, you know, meaning that is the army behind? The army completely stands with us, with our policies. So I would not publicly talk about it, but just you know, as, a, as a, someone who has uh, uh, taken over Pakistan 30 months ago. At least, and at least what I expect the international community to do is to ask them to lift the curfew. It's inhuman. It's violation of every humanitarian right of the people of Kashmir. Face the biggest economic crisis, dealing with that. We have problems. In Afghanistan. Well, if I had, but I don't have, unfortunately, the Chinese model, and if I could order people around, and I could get people, I could get people out of poverty. Not just that, the way they've tackled corruption. Unfortunately, I can't do that in Pakistan. 450 ministerial level people in the last five years have been put into jail in, on corruption. I mean, I wish I could do that in my country. Asking uh, our questions. I uh, look forward to uh, continuing the conversation on uh, what you might do. And fortunately, fortunately, President Trump has done, you know, by him forcing uh, there to be a dialogue, and then this peace deal, which was just about to be signed. This is painful for us. The peace deal was about to be signed, and, and you know, uh, it's... Uh, it's uh, President Trump has, we read it in the papers, I mean, we should have at least been discussed with us, but now I'm meeting President Trump later on, and I will uh, try and tr tell him that, look, there is, there's not going to be a military solution. For 19 years, if you have not been able to succeed, you're not going to be able to succeed in another 19 years. Thank you very much.